right, welcome back to the channel. Thanks everyone for tuning in here. Uh, we're back at uh, National Orlando Airport on a weekday around noon. And we're on the A side. Let's take a look at the uh, selection here. Thanks everyone for subscribing. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more of these videos, go ahead and hit the uh, like button. To start things off here, we've got a Range Rover in uh, Premier Selection. Uh, it's a 75 a day to upgrade. And then we've also got a Volvo uh, S60 here that's being held for somebody. Probably a VIP, I'm guessing. And then if we go down the uh, executive aisle, uh, it's looking a little bit better than uh, last time I was here. Uh, we got an Edge Titanium. And we got an Audi A4. I haven't seen one of these in a while, and I had a quick peek at it. It's got about 2,000 miles on it. It's just, uh, uh, it's got a sunroof. Uh, I really like the A5, so I imagine the A4 is similar. This would be a great choice. And yeah, to show you the interior real quick. And it's just over, uh, just over 2,000 miles on it. And we got Dodge Ram, uh, pickup truck. Uh, we got an Explorer Limited. Uh, we got a Durango all-wheel drive RT with a Hemi a V8 in it. Uh, actually, this must have just pulled in. An Audi A3 here. Do a quick uh, mileage check, see if this is fairly new. This one might have some mileage on it. Let's have a look here. And, oh, it's still fairly new, 3,000 miles. Um, great to see the new cars coming in. Well, it seems to be a lot busier. So this is uh, getting towards the end of April on a weekday. Uh, we've got a Toyota Camry SC, another uh, Ford Edge SE Bell. A Nissan Maxima SV, and it's all executive aisle. We'll go down the other side of the, uh, actually this is Emerald Dial in uh, the A side here of uh, MCO. Okay, we got a Ford Escape, uh, SE Trim, we've got a Kia K5. Uh, National's making it easy for me. They got all the <laughs> cars parked uh, with, the, with the front end so I can see the uh, name plates here. It makes it a little bit easier. I think this is a, it's probably a Nissan. Yeah, Nissan, what is this, a Nissan Kicks? Yep, yeah, SV. And we got another, this looks like an Ultima SR. Nissan Ultima SR. Oh, this is kind of neat, Midnight Edition. Uh, somebody's in on the other side, but let me just take a quick peek inside here. And it's got about 5,000 miles on it. I do like the black oak trim on these, looks nice. I guess uh, Nissan calls it the uh, Midnight Edition. And I think we got somebody cleaning, uh, cleaning the cars here. Okay, so we got um, another Ford Escape, it's an SEL, we got an Ultima SV. And what else we got here? Oh, this might be, what is this, a RAV4 Adventure? It's got the roof racks on it. This probably you guys probably know better than me. This is probably just a different trim. Uh, Twenty-one thousand miles. That was pretty nice. Okay, and we'll just continue on here. This is the other side of National. Uh, it's marked as full size. We got a Ford uh, Fusion. Looks like a EcoBoost Titanium there. And keep in mind, just with the shortages, the uh, the titles here are... Although MCO seems to do a fairly good job. Sometimes the titles on the signs are suggestions more than anything else. So we've got a couple more Camrys here. Uh, Sonata. <laughs> Another one with a dealer sticker, a Ford dealer sticker on it. Uh, and we'll go down. There's a couple more cars down here. And then we'll get into Enterprise in another video. Uh, we've got a Nissan Sentra, maybe? Versa, right, Nissan Versa SV, Chevy Spark, these are parked under Compact, anybody's keeping track here, got a Mitsubishi Mirage, another Spark under Compact, another Spark, and this looks like uh, another Mitsubishi Mirage, and go over to the other side here. Okay, we got a Toyota Venue, these are parked in midsize, and again, keep in mind, uh, Sometimes it's a little bit more of a suggestion. Okay, we got a Hyundai Accent, Nissan Rogue Sport, Chevy Malibu, 
Toyota Corolla, and we got a Kia Soul. I think that kind of wraps it up for National. And we're on the A side here, weekday. And I think that's probably going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, just a quick reminder to subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the uh, next video. Okay, we're back here. We're actually on the A side now in National, the Executive Isle. Um, it's pretty sparse too, but there's this brand new Sportage. I just want to show you guys. It's got about 1,400 miles on it. I think just uh, yeah, just one row in the back, and then some storage. Let's just do a quick walk down the aisles. It's getting Monday, early evening on Monday. And it looks like we got a lot of minivans, which means they're probably just throwing everything that comes back into the aisle, everything they got available. Uh, a couple of RAV4s coming through here. Minivan, pickup truck. A bunch of Pacificas, two of these pickup trucks. Uh, CX-5. minivan here. This is again the executive aisle. The Emerald Isle is empty. Uh, a couple more pickup trucks. And it looks like we got, you know, Ford Edge. And this might be a different minivan. Is this a Honda, maybe? Oh, sorry. Yep, yeah, nope. Just I didn't recognize yet. It's a Pacific Hybrid, and we got a smaller SUV, and a Durango, and a Grand Cherokee coming in here. And just continue here on Monday evening, just to kind of show you guys how empty everything is. I mean, they do they do have cars. Enterprise has got some cars. Um, Alamo's got some cars too, but uh, yeah, pretty uh, looking pretty sparse on a Monday evening compared to other times what I've seen out here.